All right, guys, we are on our way to go pick up the new package. Um, a part that I'm hoping will fix my uh, low oil pressure. Um, it's not going to fix the drop that I see uh, the higher I climb, but it should improve the oil pressure. Uh, that's the hope anyway. So yeah, let's go pick that up. goodies to show you today. I'm gonna have to show you quick because I have to go babysit our little boy while my wife works. So I'm gonna have to install this stuff tomorrow on the plane, but I'll show it to you first. Open up the door a little bit so you guys can see. And there we have a new hose. This is for the air, the air intake um, that goes from the this port here through the air filter and into the engine. Uh, I just want to have a spare because mine is kind of falling apart. Got this oil filter cutter, so I can check to see if there's any metal shavings inside the oil filter. I've been wanting to get one of these for quite some time. So this is it. They're expensive. This is 80 bucks. Um, you'd think you can get a cheaper, but I guess not. So this will cut any size oil filter. Next up, I got this air cleaner kit for my air filters. They're K9 filters, and this just recharges them, and I need that. Now this, it's funny how they wrapped it. These are Torque Seal paint stuff. I got three of these um, cleaners for the windshields. A spray can sprayed onto your window. That's made for plastic cleaning. Great stuff. Next up, I got this cleaner. This is for, um, it's kind of a degreaser slash it protects as well. So this is for the belly of the plane. I usually go through one of these a year, so this, it was time to get another one of them. And this stuff is also for cleaning the, um, kind of waxing slash cleaning the plane. I do this every once in a while. We don't get a lot of rain here, so I really have to kind of just spray it down by hand. Alright, on to the goodies. So from Rotax, I got a box of oil, as you can see. And this thing right here in my hand was about $600 with shipping. I'm surprised there's no instructions. Um, this is a thermostat that goes right on top of your radiator. Uh, when I have the cowling off tomorrow, this will make more sense, but basically it sits on top of the radiator and um, that will reduce my oil lines by many feet because how it works currently is the oil, the oil comes out of the oil tank, goes through a thermostat that's located on top of the engine then it continues on down to the radiator. It goes back over top of the engine to the thermostat, back around the engine, back to the fuel to the oil pump, which is at the front of the engine. And then that goes into the crankcase and then it goes back into the oil pump, so oil tank. So there's a lot of lines there. And with this, I have one oil line going from the oil tank down to the thermostat which is on the radiator and then from there it goes off of this into the pump the oil pump into the then it goes from uh, the crankcase back to the oil tank so I'm gonna be reducing my oil lines probably by five or six feet which should give me better pressure in the whole system because there's less resistance in the whole thing um, there's certainly a lot of oil lines going on right now, so this thing is going to be pretty sweet to try out. I also got just a bunch of different adapters. I can ship them back, whatever I don't use, uh, just to install this thermostat. So I got some like straight fittings and some 
180 degree fittings as well as some 90 degree. Uh, so hopefully I have enough to make it all work. That looks good. All right, that's all I got here. Quite a bit of stuff, but needed. I'm flying a lot right now. I'm flying about 100 hours every two months. So yeah, time to go babysit, uh, parent my uh, child, and I'll be back here tomorrow to install that stuff. Hey guys, we're back at the airport here next day. Time to work on the bird and uh, hopefully improve my oil pressure. Let's do it. So this is going to make more sense to you guys now that I can show you how this is going to work. Are you recording? Yeah. So you take the um, new thermostat and I'm going to have to take off all the oil lines on the engine. Almost all of them except for the one from the crankcase to the tank. Um, but here's the radiator and this is the new thermostat. And that's how it goes. So it looks like it's gonna work uh, fine. I might have to cut this um, bracket here slightly. But other than that, it should work. It should bolt on. I'll show you currently how it works. The oil goes out of the tank into the thermostat. This is the current one. It goes down into the radiator, through the radiator, and in back up around here, back to the thermostat. It goes back around the engine underneath. So the hose comes out underneath here into the oil pump. And then through, through the crankcase, the oil comes back into the oil tank. So what this does is it takes the oil from the tank right into the thermostat, this end. And then this will control if it goes through the radiator or not, or it'll just bypass through. And then off of this end, you go right into the oil pump, and then it goes back into the tank. So you're definitely going to lose about, I don't know, I'll show you guys after I take off the oil hoses how much I'm going to reduce the system by, but it's quite significant. <laughs> to a local mechanic on how to do this and he gave me some advice some very good advice instead of making a new plate I can make it work with the current the current plate I have so I have to notch it out so that sits on there like that and then the new thermostat goes on here just like this so you see I had to notch it out here I wasn't sure because of this I could couldn't spin it on um, when it's on top of the plate so we decided to put it on the bottom plate so it's the B um, it's the B nut and then uh, I'm going to basically just keep it cinched on with bolts that go through here into the plate and that's gonna keep it all together pretty good so it looks like we're getting close I just have to drill some holes for the, the screws to pass through then we can test fit it and there's my little kid there. Walter! Are you a good, are you a pilot? Uh oh. Are you gonna be a pilot? <gasps> oh! There, YouTube, it's the next day. Um, I actually got it all done. Um, I had it at a shop just to help get the uh, thermostat um, bolted onto the radiator. I uh, just needed some uh, holes drilled into the stainless steel.
Didn't have the tools for that. So I also got uh, the, oil, the old oil lines off, the new ones on. That was a bit of a challenge as well. But you can see here, I got the new thermostat on. Much cleaner than it was before. Uh, you have this one hose going from the oil tank into the thermostat, into the pump, from the crankcase back into the motor. So because I have a 180 degree fitting left over, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto this connector here and take that through the back side down to the crankcase because I hate this bend here. It just looks awful. Um, so I'm hoping I can get that a little bit better, cleaner. That was quicker than I thought, so I got it wired. I got it routed differently, so I put the oil line behind here, coming into the um, crankcase there. That is a lot cleaner than it was before, so I'm happy about that. So I have a bit of a problem. Uh, my cowl won't go on. It's hitting the one oil line coming out straight out from here and going into the out. So I'm going to have to just look at it and see what I can do about that. Rewire of that one oil line. Hopefully it fits now with the cowling. Uh, this one I put now straight through here and around the back into the oil tank. So let's uh, cross our fingers. Hope the cowl fits. Well, that's a success. Cowl is officially on and it fits. And sadly, I have to go get my hair cut. Um, I can't, I don't even have time to run it right now. So I'm gonna go get my hair cut and come back. Um, really sucks to have to wait to see if it's all good. Uh, but you guys don't have to wait, so. Basically in three seconds, you're gonna see what happens. Two, one, and back. All right, we are ready to try it out and see how this new thermostat works and all the modifications I've had to do. Hopefully there's no air leaks. Otherwise that will give me bad oil pressure. So I'll know pretty quick if it worked. You who don't know this plane, it's the Pipistrelle Virus. The 912 IS engine and an MT33 hydraulic propeller. Come like fuck out Delta, taking off runway 28 right hand turn out and uh, coming to 4500 on our two tow field area, a Beaver Hill like area. Come like Charlie Delta Zulu. A good oil pressure. 65 60 So now I'm at 1,500 feet above the ground. Good Mike Charlie Del Suzo over at the field, 4,000 on route to uh, Tofield. field. Good Mike Charlie Del Suzo. Uh, we're going to follow the highway just in case there's any issues with my pressure. Uh, just with a new system kind of installed, I want to take it easy. Make sure I have a landing area in case something happens. Alright, well, verdict's in. We're at 10,000 feet, and I have 40, 40 PSI, which is the best I've ever seen at 10,000 feet on this plane. And my oil temp's still reducing, so that oil pressure should still rise as my oil temperature cools. Yeah, so that's an improvement of about 10 PSI for a $1,000 modification. Uh, I'm happy about that. I mean, I really want to get my oil pressure as best as I can just because I prefer to not 
have a seized engine, so that would be a very bad day. Um, yeah, right now my oil temp's dropping. I'm going up to 41 psi on my oil, which is really good to see. That's definitely the best I've ever seen it. So I'm happy about this, that I have better pressure, and I should be able to fly with fi at 15,000 feet without an issue now. Uh, I should still be in the green. Um, before I was low 20s at 15,000 feet, so this is definitely an improvement, that's for sure. Alright, well, I'm going to go head back to Edmonton and do my survey flight. I really hope that this video helps someone out uh, if you have the same issue as I do. But anyways, we're heading back to Cooking Lake.